My name is Billy Stonewall Burt. People call me Stoney for short. Stoney Burt is the son of Billy Sunday Burt, the notorious ringleader of the so-called Dixie Mafia. The things he'd done that were so terrible, I'm aware of it. As it was going on, I gleaned it when he didn't know I did. Billy Sunday Burt was found guilty of three murders in the early 1970s, but Stoney says he's responsible for dozens of others. Law say they know of 56, you're here 52. They don't know anything except what somebody tells them. The Dixie Mafia was said to have been a disorganized ragtag band of criminals, primarily led by Billy Sunday Burt. What they were was a group of his handpicked from the years of 1962 to 1966, guys of nine that he used to rob places, banks, jewelry stores, armories, any place that had big money. The common thread that linked the group primarily revolved around the illegal sale of liquor. Stoney now runs his own distillery in Winder, Georgia. However, unlike his father, he runs his business within the law. He believes there are still unsolved crimes that may be linked to his dad and the Dixie Mafia. Investigators are now confident calling this cold case closed. Most recently, a 50-year-old triple murder cold case in North Carolina was pinned to the group. That's according to the Watauga County Sheriff's Office. Bryce, Virginia, and their son Bobby all found tied up and dunked in a bathtub. Local news outlets in North Carolina reported on how one of the suspects in that triple murder was caught decades later. They tracked him down after getting a tip from the son of another suspect who remembered his dad talking about killing three people in the North Carolina mountains. While on death row, Billy Sunday Burke detailed the mysteries of his past onto paper. So on death row, they don't let you crochet. He'd take a picture and he'd crochet a picture and with a frame, he'd sit at home. Well, sitting on my draft table there 23 years later, my son hit it right. And I said, that looked like some behind it. Now, I got to pick and edit, and he locked them in the way it crochet. And I'd be damn it was a letter, short letter to Stone, if he ever found it. And on the back was a map, right there were well-known roads and some X's. According to Stoney, the maps hidden in the frames crocheted by his father in prison supposedly showed where bodies had been buried. His father died in prison in 2017, leaving many questions unanswered. I've always wanted to be him, except the hurting people. I've never measured up, won't never. I'd want any young person To know that there's no good end comes from wanting to be a gangster. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.